are going to give our dolls some glam makeup for the new year. That is removable. I start by taking school glue and apply a thin coat to my doll to protect the factory paint. Since we make our doll makeup with school glue, the glue base coat is optional. It's just if you want to be extra careful. Let's start by repainting her eyelid. Mix paint and school glue. I'm using two shades of brown and I repaint right over the existing eye. This allows me to change the shape of her eye. Use the darker color to add a little shadow to the crease. Mix black paint and glue for eyeliner. I'm going a little heavy on the eyeliner for a dramatic look. Dry brush a little at the corners. I did my best to keep them even. Take clear school glue, mix it with ultra fine glitter, add a little to the eyelid for a little sparkle. Use the glue paint mixture to darken the eyebrows. Mix a touch of red into the brown to give her a new lipstick color for a temporary party look. Use a hole punch to make holes on craft foam. Apply a generous amount of glue to cardstock. Place the foam in the glue. Carefully cut around the foam to make a palette that we can fill with our leftover makeup. So our dolls have a makeup palette to match their look. Let's try silver. Let's add a little more eyeliner. If you make a mistake, allow it to dry, then peel it off to start over. Now I'm going to start with a little black eyeshadow, then eyeliner, mix silver glitter and clear school glue, then give her a little touch of silver to complete her glam look. That is completely temporary! After the party, just peel it off or wash to remove. Speaking of a party, let's make them a quick background using a holiday gift bag. Carefully cut down one corner and along the bottom to open the bag up. Cut cardboard to fit the inside of the bag. I like the print on the front of the bag, but I want to turn it the other direction. So I cut up the corner to remove the front and side of the bag. Glue the cardboard into the remaining bag. Trim off the top, then fold it over and glue down. So we have the start of a corner room with two solid walls. Take the other part of the bag and glue it on for wallpaper. Take another piece of cardboard, cover with scrapbook paper, glue it to the bottom of the bag for a floor. Glue on foam board for trim around the walls to make a small corner room from a gift bag. Take foil tissue paper, cardboard, fluff, and tape. Draw bubble letters on the cardboard Cut them out. Cut a strip of the foil tissue paper. Take a cardboard letter. Place the foil on top. Wrapping it around the edges. Turn it over and tape it down in the back. Continue pulling the foil around the edges and taping it in the back a little bit at a time, creating a little pocket on the other side. On the side opposite of the tape, add fluff so it starts to puff up. Tape down more foil and add fluff to make balloons. Cut a thin strip of foil, tape it to the back. Use double-sided tape to tape the numbers to the wall. So the dolls have a great background to ring in the new year. Now all they have to do is grab their favorite dress and say hello to 2019. Thank you for joining us while we got our dolls ready for the new year. Like comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFoggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! Just call on me to Give a shout out to Chinita Rea. What's up? Now let's party like it's 1999. Only in 2019.